Holy smokes, that brand new YouTube feature. Super exciting. It's gonna allow you and me to drive more views, gain more subscribers, drive views to our websites, and more. Step number one, log in to Creator Studio. Step number two, put on protective headwear. Step number three, access new YouTube feature, drive more views, and take over the world. <laughs>、It's、me, Brian G. Welcome back. High five. In this video, I go over the brand new feature that's being rolled out right now to creators all across the planet. And guess who just got access to it? This guy. All right. Yep, we're talking brand new YouTube feature. It's called the new end card. And it's super powerful. And without question, a lot of YouTubers are gonna use this to drive more views, gain more subscribers, and get this. This is so easy. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and I've logged inside of my YouTube Creator Studio. I'm on the dashboard. And to access this functionality, you can A, click on Video Manager, or you can click the most recent video. You can click Edit. Or you can come straight in and you can click the down arrow and notice we've got end screen and annotations. Now, end screen really replaces annotations. Originally, annotations were in place to allow you to link out to your website, to another video, or to、uh, request someone to subscribe to your video. However, as you can see, there's a big yellow、uh, warning. Saying that, hey, annotations don't work on mobile. That's why they created end screens because most users, or an awful lot, about half of the users, access YouTube through a mobile device, a phone, an iPad, etc. These work on all of those things. Super powerful. Couple of things that you need to be aware of. First off,、uh, you can only add these clickable、um, elements inside of the last 20 seconds. Of your video. Now, this particular video, Tips for Being on Camera, it ends at six minutes and 32 seconds. And notice right now the, player, the playhead is stuck at six minutes, 12 seconds. That gives us 20 seconds. And I'm g o i n g to add an element. And the first thing I'm g o i n g to do is incorporate a subscribe. And I w a n t to show you what、uh, just happened when I did that. I'm g o i n g to dry, drop the subscribe right here. In the upper right hand corner. And now notice up top it says at least one element must be a video or a playlist. And I'll tell you why that is. Because YouTube wants to drive more video views. And you should, you, you should want to do that yourself because video views increase your video watch time, which is a, a huge part of the algorithm. And as your videos gain more watch time, you're going to have an easier time ranking in the search engine. So, with that being said, this is not going to work until I add a video or a playlist. So, I'll come in, I'll select Add Element again. Now, I'll cl、uh, click Create, and we've got a few options. We can choose our own specific video. Super helpful if you've got a video that's driving views and it's Kind of ranking, but you want to drive more views to really supercharge the rankings. Well, you can select that video and you'll be good to go. Now, this is really the feature I'm going to use often, and here's why. This is the best video selection based on the individual viewer that's watching. In other words, YouTube isn't going to display a video that they've already watched. If you select this option, right, I might include this video more views. But the viewer that's watching, maybe he's already or she's already watched this video. If I select best for viewer, then YouTube is g o i n g to select a video from my catalog based on the needs of the viewer and what they've already watched and their viewing habits. Perfect. I'm g o i n g to select that now and it drops in. Now, notice we can move it around, I can drag it up and down. And basically, we get this kind of grid, and this is the area where we can、um, add it. We can resize it, we can make it a little bit bigger. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to、uh, create my icon. I'm going to put it right there in the middle. 
And now I'm gonna click Save, and I'm all done. And if we come in and we select Tips for Being on Camera, what makes a king up? You can see here, we've got the icon, and if you hover over it, uh, this gives people the chance to subscribe. They don't have to visit the channel. What's gonna happen is this pops up over the video, and they can subscribe from right inside the video. Super powerful. And here's our recommended viewer based on, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the recommended video based on the viewer. Don't give up why people quit YouTube. Super powerful, super helpful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the, uh, the end card or the end uh, slate. What's this darn thing called? This is called the end screen to this video. So let's see where I place them. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click the icon, subscribe now, and I'm going to link to a suggested video for you with a new fancy end card. Wicked!